All right, all right, all right. Mr. Matthew McConaughey said down from Texas. We are in Dallas, Texas. I love it. This is your boy Christian Israel, and this is eventually, officially long sum, short sum. This is a part of a podcast where we do Christ in Crypto every single morning, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. We've got three sections. This is the first one. This is where we talk about technical analysis using Fibonacci sequence. Uh, we're also using pivot points. What's our other main point there? Elliott wave analysis. Outside of all the other stuff, that's our main stuff. We don't do targets, but we do kind of an idea for directions. And this is one direction that we spoke about all last Friday. And if you want to go fire away, because I don't have time to be replaying clips here, but go fire away and see what we talked about on Friday, specifically looking for this short that has played out perfectly today. So where is we at right now? Well, Bitcoin is at $38,822, guys. It is at the bottom of that channel. We'll go over that in a second. Ethereum's in the number two spot, sitting at $2,863. BNB is finally up under $400 after really holding that at $392.65. Solana is in the number four spot at $96.79, which looks like it flipped XRP. XRP, which is in the number five spot at 66.5 cents, which if you were paying attention, you're probably in a long right now, but we're not quite done yet. We'll get into that soon. And the number six spot is Terra Luna at 889.77, actually up 0.9% on the last hour. Cardano in the number seven spot at 85.5. Polkadot in the number eight spot at 17.45. And the number nine spot at 16 at 69.43 is AVAX or Avalanche. And rounding out the top 10, boom, Elon Coin, or also known as doge doge is up 5.1 percent and we definitely long that last night based on the news so without making you wait any longer let me show you guys exactly what we were looking at let me see if i can get you to the big screen here and go ahead and blow this up just a little bit let's fade this out why da boom can you see that or is that too big let's go a little bit bigger Aha. all right so now guys we are here and this is what I saw yesterday. So um, you guys know I give alerts. I get paid to give out some alerts to some people. And so I got to kind of do my due diligence to give, you know, actual charting real advice. This is not a financial, as, uh, uh, financial advice. This right here is educational purposes, right? But we need to see and get an idea. So I told you I use FIBS. And this is all the way back to March. And I just kind of been watching this because I told people that this last move here would be a good place when we came down and bought in this place. Now we've been able to bounce back up. We hit the 2.414, which is always what I'm looking for, for some kind of reversal. Okay. Normally we fire on up, but this is exactly what I am looking for. I'm going to try to see if I can reach to shut my window. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's shut. I just used my toe to shut my window. <laughs> anyway, so here is doge rejecting at 18 cents the 2.414 um and we're going to went on down to 4.1 to the 0.414 okay and that's exactly where a bounce zone so we had a couple things happen last night we had elon uh start to have the twitter news around 9 p.m last night okay around 9 p.m i'll show you let's go on i normally don't do this i'm just going to show you what what we set up yesterday uh so I, told, I spoke about that last night that I logged. And so here's the entry for Doge last night around 10.30. Uh, the, the Twitter buyouts began to go 9 p.m. I was like, you know what? Based on this chart that I'm seeing right here, and then I kind of posted this, I said, I am going to long this. That's Twitter. I'm going to long this. Why? Because we were running right here at the 0.5 yesterday. I said, we're going to run into it. I want to go ahead and get the long. So I got in right here. Last night, it continued to came all the way down to the 0.414. Uh, I didn't want to risk that because I had been putting buys right at it and I hadn't been getting it. So I went ahead and said, you know what, do it. And I had my stop loss below at 12. So you can see that stop loss uh, was 12.25. Okay. So that's my entry. I actually took complete profit, just got out. So I'll post that later. But based on the news and everyone connecting Elon and Twitter and Doge, I was like, you know what? People are just going to buy it in the in the equities market, right? Because that's what they did. And lo and behold, 
they did it. Now, TA-wise, yeah, lines up that a, a dump was coming. We spoke about it. If there was a bounce, it'd be right here. So did I take a risk? Yes, I 100% took a risk yesterday. But with the news that was going, people connected. So I said, I'm going to play that news cycle with the TA, fired away, and boom, took profit right here. Uh, I took partial profits at 13.85, which is right at that resistance. And then it took me the rest out just now. So that was my target overall was 14.5. I did not get there, but I wanted to go ahead and get out there and take profits. So that was a good place to see. For me, that was a good place to see Doge fire up. You can see here, I'll show you the MACD. It had a nice little run up here. See that nice, uh, zoom in. Boom, nice, nice movement of momentum there. Our RSI here, you can see fired up as well. Um, it's not like it really broke. It, you know, it didn't really break any barriers, but it did get above 50%, putting us back in the bullish. Not 50, yeah, 50% RSI, we'll say 50%. The bullish also bought off uh, that, su that super low that came in over the weekend, right? So the RSI was really low. So I did, I wanted to focus on one trade. Um, I don't like being in trades on Mondays because the market likes to sell off on Mondays, um, you know, after it pumps over the weekend. But then we had the big time sell off over the weekend happening, and now we got some pumpage. So let's go and see what's happening with the big dog, which is Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin right now, as you guys can see as I go large for you here, full screen. It is at the bottom of the channel that we spoke about. Now, I have to do another live stream later today that is for the clients. And I got to kind of go over some stuff and it's private. We'll maybe discuss this any different. It's the end of the day. So maybe I'll kind of record that and upload this later as well. And just for some end of the day TA for like an hour and a half TA. May or may not, have not decided yet. But what I've noticed here is this is our channel that we're working on. This is the bottom of our channel, right? As well as our VPVR most, most held area of strength. And we are currently right at it, at the bottom of the channel, right under it, looking for a possible breakup to test 40,470. Now, we have yet to finish this move uh, here, okay? So this is what it looks like when we zoom in. That's the three minute chart. This is what Bitcoin looks like. Let's go 15 so it's not as scary. When we zoom in, we've kind of broken under that channel a little bit, okay? But we've came and touched the 2.414, which, I'm okay with. Actually, uh, I like on the overall time frame. However, on a smaller time frame, 37,446 is still on the table. Now, let's discuss possibilities here. Okay. Let's discuss. I'm going to go back on the hour here and, and kind of show you where that large one plays out. So, on Bitcoin, this larger fib here is from the beginning of April. Okay. When we, when we broke down, came up, and this is what we're looking at, this wave right here. One, two, three, four. And I think we're on wave five, which could come down and see. And now this is ugly. So this is just a warning. I, I'm not sure about this yet, but this is something on my radar. because, And I'll talk about why. That we could still come down and go to 37,382 to finish that move out the 4.414. Now. I don't know what news we're going to have this week, but I'm not liking what I am seeing in the charts. Okay. I think this is a short term bottom, but I'll talk about what I see in XRP. But I want to tell you that this is on target. $30,000 is officially on my radar. It is on my radar. $30,500 is on my radar. Um, but no worries until we double tap at 34.4. Okay. 34.4. Is something that we need to watch. I've been calling this the whole time, <laughs> watching it the whole time. The last, like, I don't even know if I can go to my, I'm not even going to go to it because I don't have time, but we've been watching this the whole time. So this is our channel. We're looking at breaking up. Okay. This is our channel breaking up our target. Top target. I still have is 57,000. I do not think we're going to break that overall, but mm, we'll see. Cause this is, this is nice. Still did not create a lower low, so we're really got to hold right where we are. If we do not hold where we are, 37,000 is on tap, followed by 34. And there's no doubt in my mind that 29.9 will come into play if this does not hold. That is where I see. I did long some stuff, so we'll go. 
Speaking of long, XRP is not quite finished yet, in my opinion. We should get some bounce, but we have not hit my target of 62.67, well, 63 cents minimum. We're kind of working that same way we've been working on Bitcoin, working our way down. And I'll show you here from up here. I think we got some interesting playing out here. I think we have an ABC inside of an ABC playing out. And what I mean by that is here's our one ABC. I think that's going to play out and come back down and double touch. Okay. Possibly 61 cents, 62 cents is what I'm looking at. Yeah, 62 cents is what I'm looking at. But that's inside of a possible another. See this? A, a larger ABC, which is crazier because this might be a part of. <laughs> and that might be like one, two, like a complex one, two, three there. I know I'm not going to do that, all that in there. But what I see is multiple corrections playing out feeling like this is the bottom of the overall correction pattern kind of banging the floor banging the floor banging the floor over and over and over again um and so that is what i'm seeing let me zoom in real quick for you guys if you have had the chance to follow along uh you should be making some serious money right now because i've been telling you for about two weeks down movement is coming um and it's been playing itself out so Right now, we're gonna we're we're trying to build support over that area. I'm just not confident. I am not confident in this moment. Now, some targets have hit. We bounce back up to the S1, but I really have a buy. I'm gonna tell you one more time. I have a buy. I'll tell you exactly what it's at right now. 62.5. So 62.5 is still my buy. Um and that's to imagine this double top right here, which is 62, coming about 62 and a half in this area. So that may or may not, that probably will change um, if we get a little higher of a bounce action. So we'll see. If we just roll over, then this might be done. But one, two, one, that's one, two, three. So do we get a four to come back up to 71 cents and then down? That is a pot. That, that seems more likely, guys. One two three four five that for me right there is my most likely scenario so when this starts to fire up and it gets back to 72 cents and that does not break uh be careful okay so i mean let's see how far does one actually go one goes to here so we need a candle close yep that's right wow that that played out perfectly one two three four five is what we're looking at a long drawn out four over the week something and then maybe friday it's the last week of the month right and look at the calendar real quick let's see if i can get a calendar going let's see what time yep 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 equities close friday so this okay we're gonna dump <laughs> so we're gonna have a pump i think this week based on the market going and then go ahead and rolling over and dumping at the end of the week we're gonna watch that call right there let's watch that the rest of the week okay so that's my xrp call right now maybe a little pullback for the rest of the day since we had a nice little pump this morning, we'll see what happens in equities. Um, but that's what I'll be looking to play in short um, to kind of have another way down at, over the weekend. That's that's really what I'm seeing. So one last last least, we know Twitter is being offered to be by $25 or $54 a share. Um, here's the thing here. Here's our, here's our little, just basic. This is Twitter back to 2013, okay? You guys know, we have our high and our low, and then our Fib extension working itself out. The goal is two hundred and seventy dollars. If that was it, really one fifty nine is the most massive target. I think we go from here. I don't think this is going to run up to two eighty, but we could see. Now, he is buying right here on forty three. Like that's what this dip was last week. The dip on Twitter, and I'll zoom in. Okay, the dip on Twitter hit the point five. Wonderful. It has not back test 38.65. So could we see a correction roll over and bounce 38.65? If it does and this holds, okay, here's a Twitter call for you. This area right here. So $40. We get a test back of $40 Twitter. Probably after this sell goes through, look for Twitter to sell off. The Twitter, right, look for them to like, boom, sell, boom, dumps. If this dumps to 40 with the rest of the equities market, I see a bounce back for a great buy. I will be buying Twitter at $40 because then I will be getting out at $159 when everything runs. 
That is that is a hundred percent a wonderful play. That is a what percentage play is that? And I love this setup. I really love this setup. Um, so we're gonna go from right there, almost three hundred percent, two seventy five. So get in at forty, sell at one fifty. Get in at forty, uh, one forty eight, two two hundred fifty percent. That's what I am looking to do. I'm gonna play that out. I mean, you put in a you buy one dollar there and it turns into two fifty. So um, buy a couple shares there, see what you can do. That's the play for Twitter, and that is what I see for Twitter right now. The overall market, guys, really want to pay attention to because this is, I guess you know, not the prettiest in its sense, not at all. I mean, if I, I'm gonna zoom in real quick just to get us a better idea, get a closer look at the Bitcoin, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, closer look, pressure pushing down. So will we go ahead and see this? Again, remember I told you this was a counter. See how it said stop loss? So there's our stop at 38.2. If you chose the longness, the issue is it already hit 39.323, the target this morning. So now that that target's done, will we see some downside? The question is, I guess we'll check in and see later. So do if you guys, this is a really short TNA section today because I'm going to be playing some NFT gaming uh, try to learn some free NFT gods unchained today on this. So if you just caught long some short some, the next daily topic, that's what we'll be doing. And I'm excited because I've never gamed live and I've actually never played a full game of this. So for now, that is our TA section. Again, Twitter is the call, is the buy. Um, that's what I'll be looking at. My TA section would be Doge Long, Twitter looking for 300%. So that's what it is. This is your boy Christian Israel. This is long some short some. Please do that social media thing, guys. Got to get 10 likes per show to get where we got to go. So I appreciate everything that you do. And guys, that is the end of long sum, short sum. Appreciate you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and do the thing that people do on social media at Twitter, at TikTok, you know, New Creation Capital. Let us know, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Later, guys.